Welcome back to Culture Makers. I'm your host, Vince, and with me today, Savannah. Savannah, how are you doing? I'm doing so good. Now, I'm so excited. This is your first time, here. right? Yes. Glad to have you. Now, there's also another first time. Savannah's the first person to ever take her shoes off on Culture Makers. Why? Is because you said that's kind of your thing? That's just who I am. Just I do not everywhere. like shoes. Wow. <laughs> Culture makers, bold statement, let us know in the comments below. Do you like shoes? So when it comes to taking your shoes off, where do you take them off at? Like everywhere? I take them off when I'm driving. Even okay. if it's just like down the street to the store. Like the grip them pedals, okay. I good. take them off at work, I'm not gonna lie. I walk around the office okay. with no shoes That's on. A, okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And like Sundays in between services, I'll take them off. Okay, so when you were in school, did you take your shoes off? All the time. Okay, hey. Do you guys take your shoes off everywhere you go? Let us know. But today we are talking about how do you deal with FOMO and all the things that have been happening in culture lately. So Savannah, here it is. Think about let us know. How do you deal with FOMO? Fear of missing out. In case y'all didn't know that. I know y'all thought old dude don't know. I know. <laughs> you FOMO. Got so, you know That's some what of it is. I know a little term, bit. A little bit. Some, yeah. Some. Um, how do I deal with how FOMO? How do you deal with FOMO? Honestly, I love be I'm such an extrovert and I love being out and doing all the things so I feel like if I see someone do something I'm like that's legit I'm just like all right next weekend like I got it like I'm gonna do it okay so I just do it so you see someone <laughs> do something okay so like if a movie comes out you're like everybody's talking about it how about a TikTok dance are you the person who's like keeps up on all the TikTok dances because you just can't let one get past you I will wa I watch them. I know them. I don't do them. I don't get FOMO for that. I'm more like, look at my friends doing that. Like, that's legit. Okay. I'm like, you go, sis. I <laughs> deal with FOMO by turning old and then it doesn't, it no longer exists. Uh, it's just a special that's gift fair. you have. Like, it, it, I don't know what age it is, but there's just one day you just like, yeah, I just want some sleep. Yeah. Right? So yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you deal with FOMO, but but here's the deal. Uh, don't let it get in the way of your relationship with Jesus. Like, yeah. make sure that you're taking time to read your Bible, go to church, you do all those important things that matter. Don't be skipping tests and, yeah. you know, not doing the chores, whatever your parents ask you to do. So, yeah, just don't let FOMO get in the way is what I would say. 100%. But live your life, and if you want to wear shoes, wear shoes. If not, don't wear shoes. This world's crazy. Like, celebrities just keep disappearing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Rest in peace, Bob Sack. Saget, like, yeah. were you a Bob Saget fan? I was. I was so sad. First of all, I thought it was fake news. Like, oh. somebody posted it, and it wasn't even, like, a real news thing. It was, like, one of those Hollywood's bet, like, some random page. Right. They reposted. I was like, that's not funny. Like, we just lost Betty White. Like, don't do not do that. And then I kept scrolling, and I, go of course, just got to Google it yourself. Got to look it up. Fact check. Always fact check. Don't believe everything you see. And I saw it was legit. And I was so sad. So that's, yeah. So how are you going to lose Betty White, Sidney Poitier, and Bob Saget in like less than a month? What? You didn't know about Sidney Poitier? No. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Wow. Uh, take a moment. I'm Let glad it. we're having this talk now. Yeah. I'm sorry. You just found that out. That's, well, that's. Things happen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. <laughs> And other news, I don't know why people, this matters, people talking about this, but Mark Wahlberg is working out with his daughter's boyfriend. I don't. He's a cool dad. He is a cool dad. He's not Are a regular he a, dad. He's, he's not, okay, <laughs> all right. I feel like we have a Mark Wahlberg fan in the house. 100% Marky Mark all day. Okay, but you're not old enough to know him as Marky Mark. Yes, I am. I don't. How old do you think I am? You don't have to answer we're that. We're not. We don't have to culture get into that. makers. We don't talk about age. We ain't got to get into that. We just established that I'm the old dude. And that's cool because I'm like a father figure here. You know, me and Mark Wahlberg may or may not be about the same age. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not at Google cool. Googling his age. So you're but a I just cool don't feel too. like you you were quite old enough to know him as Marky Mark. Full surprises. Okay then. <laughs> there we go. Savannah knows everything. Except for that Sydney Poitier passed away. Yeah. I've never worked out with one of my daughter's boyfriends, but hey, if he gets a matching shirt, one day we'll see what happens, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. Let me ask you this. Are you a sports person? Uh, That's a no. No. Uh, there are anywhere, depending on the season, between four to six hosts on Culture Makers. And only one person pays attention to sports. I guess the rest of you guys are busy reading your Bible, yeah. on TikTok, in I don't country. know. Culture Makers, are we as a show, sports people, those of you who watch, 
Because, you know, the NFL. Someone out there is. Yeah, the NFL is taking off the playoffs. Who do you got? Just let me know in the chat. We won't go through all the teams and <laughs> ask because apparently Savannah does not watch sports. But that's okay. I just that's... embarrassed, like, my whole family on that. But I don't. Why did you think you embarrassed your whole family on that? So I'm the only girl in my family. Okay. I have four brothers. What about your mom? Two nieces. My mom, yes, okay. for sure. But like generationally, mostly male cousins and some female cousins, but they live further away. So like it's a whole thing. So they're probably just like, are you serious? Like we taught you this. Like we raised you watching football. And then you were like, nope. Yeah. I left Texas and was like, sorry. Okay. Well, we're glad you're here. <laughs> Glad you're I'm here. Glad to be here. Texas people, you know, shout out to you. 100%. Why do people in Texas think it's it's just like its own country? It's the best state. There's everything. That's everything what everyone need. says. Like, it's and Houston just... is the best city in Texas. So. Oh, okay. Shout out Houston. Here we go. Have you posted your 10-year challenge on social media yet? I have not posted Are it. Are you going to participate? I will participate. Okay. I've been I've been scrolling back, checking it out. The Lord's done a lot, or are you like one hundred percent? Ten years ago, I actually did not love Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I lived like a whole different lifestyle, and when I'm looking back, I'm like, man, I was a heathen. I was out oh, there. I was out there. Heathen. I was. I really was. Okay. So, but I have Jesus now. Were you living in Houston? I was. Heathen in Houston. <laughs> we should make t-shirts. I feel Let like that's know. a hashtag. No one rap off, rip off my t-shirt idea no. try to give me a chance to get yeah. them out Patent there. Patent pending. Yeah, hashtag heathen in Houston. Change my at name. Yeah. Well, I'm not in Houston no more, so that's, a, that's like... <laughs> so you left the heathen in Houston. That's right. What do we back when you go back home and visit family? <laughs> Don't do me like that. Okay, no, never we mind. Love Jesus. We'll keep we'll We're... keep it moving. We'll keep it moving. <laughs> so next week is Martin Luther King Day, 100%, right? And yeah. we're celebrating all Martin Luther King did uh, for so much civil justice uh, in the states. So yeah. here's the deal. how do you celebrate holidays that uh, for the most part aren't as traditional as Christmas or mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, you know? How do you do that? How do you celebrate those different holidays? I think just educating myself more. That's good. There is a really amazing um, museum in Atlanta, and I'm forgetting the name, but they have like this whole area that is dedicated to MLK Jr. And it has like his speeches and different things that he wrote and even like sermons that he preached and being able, you can just Google that. Right. And like reading those things and learning about who he was and just even more so like what he stood for and how he went about what he stood for. That was, that's how I do it. I want to learn more. That's good. That That is it right there. When you come across a holiday you are not familiar with, yeah. take the time, do some research, fact check, right? Oh, fact check. <laughs> and go in and let's figure out, hey, what's this all about? Why are people yeah. celebrating? Don't just let it be a day off school, a day off work. Man, but fact check, figure it out. Shout out to Martin Luther King, entire family, and all that you have done. Appreciate you. Now we have some questions from our students okay. here. This is why we do this. We wanna know your questions, so put them right. again in the chat, in the comment. Uh, Gabby wants to know if you have any suggestions for motivating your friends to attend church. Yeah. That's a really good question, Gabby. I think just being consistent with invites, but not being, not putting pressure on them. I think just making it casual, like, oh, what are y'all doing this weekend? Like, oh, okay, cool. Hey, I'm going to service at 10 o'clock. You want to go with me? And it's like, okay. no, I'm busy. Like, okay, cool. But like being consistent about that, like, having that a regular conversation of like oh man at church like i did this or at switch like we played this new game or they play this new song or you know maybe in the car with your friends playing these songs and they're like who's that and you like allowing opportunities to talk about it without being like go to church with me um because nobody really responds well to that but being okay. consistent i like that next question it says by the name of Jobs. Okay. I don't uh, know if that's, hey Jobs, shout out to you if that's your name. Is it uh, Jobs? Oh, I'm so sorry. Y'all know <laughs> I do not like mispronouncing names. 
Job says that there's a lot of pressure from social media and the outside world to hop on trends. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that pressure? And what do you think about trend setting slash following these trends? Yeah, man, that was a hard question. Honestly, I think not falling into those things really just comes from knowing who you are. You know who you are from scripture because of who God says you are. But also like, what are your skills? What are your talents? God has made you individual. That's who you are. He's like, here's this talent, here's this gift. And tap into that and not focusing on someone else's talents or someone else's gifts or what society is saying is this new cool thing. Cause new cool things are always gonna change. You know, you've seen a few of them. Okay, that's an old person <laughs> joke. I agree with all that. And that's what Culture Makers is all about, obviously. <laughs> we are not here to ignore what's happening in the world, but see, hey, how is we as Christ followers can be like, hey, set the culture, yeah. right? Don't let the culture determine what we do, but we set the culture and trend. We don't ignore the things in the world because that would be ignoring people. Yeah. And that's not what God's called us to do. He's called us to love people, to pray for people. And we're just here to help you guys think about how what's the best way for you to do that. So thank you so much for asking your questions. Remember, yeah. comment below, ask your questions and all the things, like, subscribe, and then just tell us how much you like Savannah, how awesome she is, because she's great. So thank you for being here. Anything else you want to share before you get out of here or? No, man, I'm glad to be here. I'm super excited to read your comments and get to know y'all, answer more questions. Um, and if there's any of my fellow shoe disliking people, I'm here with you. Oh, not just uh, take the <laughs> shoes off. Just put the, <laughs> the foot and wave with the wave with the. OK, this all right. Well, I am. what better way to end coach makers than with a foot wave? <laughs> we'll see you guys later.